Let me sprinkle yeah. some pippin' on you. Call it some stardust. Let me sprinkle some pippin' on you. Call it some stardust. Let me sprinkle some pippin' on you. Call it some stardust. Let me sprinkle some pippin' on you. Call it some stardust. I got a pocket full of money. My swag on the beat. My ego to the high. You can see it to the ceiling. It's fire in my eye. So I cannot fight the feeling. It's fire in my eye. So I cannot fight the Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Down here at Crane Lake again. Trying to see if we can get some more brim. Might throw out a few jugs, too. That look like a jack. We call them a jack, but uh, I think it's actually a type of pike. Yep, we just tight lining using the cricket. Using my Uncle Buck's pole from uh, Bass Pro. This pole is only like $15, $16. You gotta buy your own little reel and put on it. All I'm using is a number six hook with a swivel. Two piece of lead. Bouncing it up and down off the bottom. Slow rolling so far. Oh, bitty fish. <coughs> we might cut him up. I'm going to throw him back. That one a little bigger. I think I might keep him. It's a rough day. Cut him up too. Have some cut bait. Hey, 
Y'all doing all right? Oh, you all right. <laughs> no. Ain't doing too much of nothing today. I came Monday and did all right. Could make. tight lining using a number six hook with the smallest gold swivel you can buy and I got two little pieces of lead on there let's see what happens Ooh. some big stuff jumping back here might have to pull my reel out but, uh, let's hope we can get some action on our bottles and I can get it on camera for you guys So basically, uh, I came down here Monday and did pretty good. This is Crane Lake. We're outside of New Edinburgh, Arkansas. And we're just tight lining for bluegill, whatever bites really. And uh, whenever I throw those jugs out like that, I'm fishing for catfish or grennel. And around, well, around here we call it a grunnel, but the actual book name is a bowfin. For you guys that are not familiar with it, I'm hoping I can get some action on one of these jugs and show y'all. So as you can see, it's numbered Gatorade bottles, the 32 or the 28 ounce. I think two of them are the Arizona tea jugs or a fruit punch jug and I take that uh the trap line on the roll you can buy at Walmart put about three foot of it on there three or four foot some type of catfish hook or big bigger hook cut bait shiners goldfish I prefer cut bait Catfish like to cut bait, but out here I mostly catch a bunch of grunnel. Hello, Graham. a nice one. Nice rock bass. Yeah, we're going to keep him. Keep him too. He's about a four finger.
gonna keep him too. It's a rough day. <laughs> I know some of y'all gonna laugh at me. It's hard in the paint today. Alright, something on my bottle up here. Let me. Let's go and check that. Get that on camera for y'all people. Look like it's. It ain't nothing too big because he ain't taking it completely underwater. You get something on your jug and he takes it under for about three seconds, he's pretty big. Alright, let's set this jig pole down. Look at that bottle. See how he's swimming with it. under the boat or something. I'm waiting on the pot from under the boat. Alright folks, let's see. Okay. Look at that. That's a nice sized bullhead catfish. Oh yeah, we'll take that any day. We will take that any day right there. Watch a little brim. Well, if all the little ones I got or done threw back was big, I'd be all right. That's a big one. That's a big grunnel there. Got to be. Look at that. Got one right there. Get the way he co told that bottle. He's a big one. He's a big one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, damn! He snatched it out of my hand. Shit! He's a big one. I felt that weight. <laughs> There we go. We got him. Oh yeah, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Put him in a live wheel. Yep. Yep. We're gonna put him in the live wheel.
like I might have two good fish right here. you baby oh, we gotta go to my other one too let me get him on in this line boy. Got him, baby. We got you. It's over. Stop fighting. We got you, baby. <laughs> I think he likes that. It ain't nothing too big. He's struggling to take that bottle down. He's trying, but he can't. Might be another little bullhead catfish. a little one. I'm going to throw him back. Yep, see? I'm using this a Gatorade bottle. And in the state of Arkansas, if you're jugging, you got to write your name, at least your name and address. So I got some tape that I wrap around them, then I write my name on there because your name will stick a lot longer to that tape than it will that uh, just the jug by itself. So I'm not using them. And like I said, this is some like yo-yo line, thin trout line. I like it's like 50 pounds. Stick the line in there. And after so long, you know your hooks may get rusty. You may have to replace your hook or whatever, but one jug will last you a good long while. Okay, we got a brim. It's a nice one. Oh, man. I think that was a gar. Mm, that's a good one. What is it? Ooh, that's a slab brim. Catfish. Ah. Oh man, he got on. Why <laughs> ah. oh, I hate missing fish. Oh yeah. hunk of meat.
dust Let me sprinkle some pippin' on you Call it some stardust I got a pocket full of money My swag on the big My ego to the high You can see it to the ceiling It's fire in my eye So I cannot fight the feeling It's fire in my eye So I cannot fight the feeling